Hello, welcome back. Uh, my name is Adam, and this video is just really a quicker apology video, really. Um, as a follow-up to three videos that I just did for night lighting, um, in particular Chris Bell's uh, Blue Marble and Black Marble and the difference that you get with them with, uh, than when you use Smart Sim Lighting. I personally myself use a combination of the both and I think that looks great. Um, but here we are in Los Angeles, the Los Angeles International Airport. I figured if you're going to show off night lighting, California is probably your best bet to do that. So we're here in California. Um, also, this is an apology to Chris Bell himself, because in the Black Marble video, I was saying, yeah, and if you look up into the night sky, you'll see Stargazer and how beautiful it was. Well, guess what, folks? I wasn't actually running Stargazer in the sim when I said that. Like, it was installed on my machine, right? I'd recently installed it and updated it to the, to the latest patch. And I thought it was installed in my machine, and I was looking up, and I was going, yeah, man, look at them stars. Look how beautiful they are. And in actual fact, it was P3D default we were looking at, right? So what had happened is I'd found out, and it was only through when I installed the other two um, after I did the videos, um, I had to contact Chris Bell for support um, through Black Marble not properly installing. Um after I made my videos though, and it was like, what's going on, man? It's like not working now. Um, anyway, it was through that conversation that I realized that Stargazer wasn't working. And what had happened was I installed it on my computer, right? And it would, it would say finished installation, but it then wouldn't bring up the control panel like it normally should do. Um, I have like, when I first downloaded the patch, the update, I did run the control panel, so I got to see the control panel, but then I, you know, through the course of trying to figure out black marble and you know the problem I was having with that, I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, uh, Stargazer, and the control panel then wasn't showing up. Anyway, a few conversations later, I figured out it was Windows Defender that was basically preventing the program from actually installing on the C drive where it needed to be. It would run through the installation, and the installation would say, yeah, you've got no problems there, bud, but it wouldn't actually install it onto my system. So I was like, what? So, um, anyway, I mean, I deleted all my registry entries, found out what was happening, then reinstalled it, and boom, we are good to go. So that's what this video is about. This video is about, let's see, actually, you know, what Stargazer is, finally, in the uh, sim, and that is Stargazer, confirmed, <laughs> um, as well as have a quick look at Black Marble without sim, uh, smart sim lighting. Um, I don't have smart sim lighting for America, so this is purely blue and black marble. And I was even told a nice little tip by the developer Chris himself uh, to kind of almost like verify blue marble, which we're going to do after this. So we're going to get up into the air, we're going to get up to our 30,000 feet. Um, the night sky is definitely Stargazer, alright? Um, you can tell, I think, by the moon. I think the moon is also a giveaway. But, um, I mean, I don't know why I thought that Stargazer was installed. Because look at that. That is completely different to what we saw before. It's night and day, isn't it? It really is. I mean, there are so many stars in that sky. I can't even count them. There are so many. Um, so why did I think it was installed? Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so um, we're coming up to our 30,000 now, so let's just drop the uh, this. And uh, now, uh, another disclaimer that I've got to make sure that everybody is aware of is Black Marble is a complex add-on, okay? It's actually got three um, stages to it, effectively. Um, the first stage is the base pack, and that is exactly what you're seeing right now the base pack only okay and I've configured it to the recommendations that the manual say uh, is best for night flying so um, the performance I'm getting 
is the performance that uh, is recommended or you know well not recommended sorry but are based on the settings that are recommended um, configured with my machine obviously performance with other machines will you know it's all sim dependent isn't it really so the frames that I'm getting which to be honest I'm totally happy about as long as I get 24 frames a second that's to me I'm happy you know um, 30 is what I sort of aim for 60 is what I'm happy about but um, at the end of the day 24 frames is still smooth uh, motion for me so everything you see below is just the base package uh, the other two stages of black marble uh, are the vector and the bridges add-ons that you will get separately um, or rather that you purchase separately um, which in the in the future I will get um, but I, I won't have um, installed for a while I want to get used to uh, the base package for a while to be honest um, I have had in the past bridges and vector but um, that's another story uh, older sims so this is basically the base package now I don't have my settings ramped up so it would actually go out on for more like it would go on in the distance a lot more if I had my auto gen uh, draw distance set to what is recommended by uh, the products as well I don't do that um, I haven't configured my sim for the solely for night flying yet um, there is there is a setting that like that are recommended if you or if you're gonna do a night flight only um, it's not recommended for daytime flying but it's recommended for nighttime flying in order to get the best visuals out of what we see here um, and uh, I will at uh, some point in the future if people want to see like a proper review on black marble the base product then I will do a proper review and I will set it up my simulator to the way it's recommended in the manual for best visual uh, performance and I'll do a, a detailed review I'm totally happy with what I'm seeing and the smoothness of this aircraft at the end of the day this is a default aircraft so um, I would have to play with my settings if I'm to get um, a add-on aircraft playing well with uh, this night lighting because I think the night lighting it is it does require some resources you know you can't run this off uh, like a you know a computer from 20 years ago it does require some hefty beefing processing and I'm running at nearly five gigahertz um, everything for me is ramped up and I'm still getting smooth frames um, I've seen it run off a laptop that's how easy it is to run it but um, the only settings that I've changed are the ones with Orbex so I don't get double lighting so I don't, so this is just the night lighting for black marble that you're looking at you're not looking at Orbex night lighting or anything like that this is just black marble so um, but I have seen it play well with um, sim smart sim lighting as well so and as you can see as we move out so does the the lighting in all the directions and uh, I am yeah, totally happy I like the shimmery effect as well although I don't think that's the product I think that's my graphic setting but it does add a nice realistic hazy shimmer to it um, I enjoy that and again okay as we're coming into you know the city of Los Angeles at night my frames are going down but hey this is Los Angeles guys who isn't gonna take a frame hit flying like at 10,000 feet um, there's Los Angeles I believe um, I think it is anyway um, I have taken off from Los Angeles Airport so that's the only city I can see close to it um, I don't have any Los Angeles Air City installed at the moment I do have uh, LAX from Aerosoft so I, I do have access to it but I haven't installed it yet so um, that's for a future uh, installation um, when I come to do some flying in uh, America um, so at the moment it's just P it's just P3D default buildings and Orbex global buildings down below but um, but yeah so this is uh, the night lighting now, uh, obviously, the, we didn't witness any of this type of thing for, in the previous videos, and that's basically because 
we were flying in Scotland, we were flying in locations that I'd selected that weren't like shown to show off black marble, but just to see pushing its limitations or pushing what it can do, you know. Um, LAX is probably the, the, the only um, location anybody would fly in order to see the best of what any night lighting would offer because it has so many nights, uh, so many lights in the night sky. It's even depicted in ET the fact um, of like its beauty. So um, yeah, this is probably the only place you would fly if you wanted to show off night night lighting. But I chose three locations that probably wouldn't have great night lighting to see, like to see if it could go up to the challenge I set ahead of it. And it did. It knocked it out of the park. Um, obviously, there's no night lighting in Africa in the Congo um, because there's no tree, there's no lampposts or anything there. So it performed as I expected, which was brilliantly. And um, and it still is now. So yeah, this video just a little bit of a course correction. You know, I didn't have Stargazer in the night sky before. That's what Stargazer looks like. Um, I'm gonna brighten up the video a little bit, guys, just so you can fully see. Because I know I have seen that some of the videos are a bit on the dark side. So I will make sure you can see what I'm seeing, basically. Um, but yeah. Now, again, I, in the manager of uh, Black Marble, I haven't activated like every feature. So we're probably only seeing about 55, 60% of what Black Marble can actually do, you know, um, which for me, I think is still acceptable. The big test is when I go outside of the aircraft, what will happen? Because <laughs> that is a test. Um, oh, my frames actually increase when I go outside. Look at that. How cool is that? But yeah, you get some beautiful shots coming in on a on a nice big jet of the city. So yeah, there we go, guys. So uh, another thing me and Chris were having a chat about as well was Blue Marble, and um, I you know I had a few questions about it because I really wasn't sure exactly what effects it has in the sim. Um, you know, I. As I, as I was saying in my video, I was like, barely notice any difference here, guy, mate. And he was like, well, try this and you might see a difference. So um, I, I, I would like for anybody who hasn't got Blue Marble installed, I would like you to do this and compare what you find to what I'm going to find because I have got Blue Marble installed. So um, basically, let's get into this point and then... We're going to zoom out a little bit here, and um, we should be able to see a, a proper... I mean, this is now my sim, so this is everything I've got installed, what you can see here. And you can see here the difference between some uh, photo scenery that I've installed uh, and Orbex. <laughs> That's the difference between that. But uh, zooming out, um, you should be able to see now, this is P3D from... A distance you know this is uh, what uh, we see in the sim really um, yeah so bit of a difference now here is where you can see the difference here um, and in fact if I was to time preview I imagine um, you would probably see it a bit more so there's the night time you know and then you've got the daytime so, uh, yeah, so you can pretty much say, like, there's the, the black marble at work right there. You know, you can see it from a distance. Um, and then there's the blue marble at work. Now, if you haven't got this uh, done, you know, if you haven't got this installed, I mean, all you got to do is, let's, see, let's get back into the cockpit, right? So we're here back on Earth, right? Um, all you got to do is hit F12, okay, and you'll probably be zoomed out to about, like, you know, you'll, you'll probably come out to about that high off the ground, right? Now, I'm just using the plus and the minus keys, but not the ones in the num lock area, the ones by the delete button. And that zooms in, and then the minus sign next to it zooms out. And just zoom your view out 
to see the entire globe and let me know what you see let me know if it looks similar to that um, when I come to do a, a proper review of Marble Earth you know we'll be using the before and the after but I will delete Marble uh, Blue Earth Blue Marble off my PC and do the same test and it'll be interesting I think to see the results but that is Blue Marble installed right there that's what it looks like that's that's what you get with Blue Marble um, gosh you see the difference here between you know having um, photo realistic scenery and then Orbex default like Orbex on there it's uh, for me I think it's a lot better to be fair look at that you know my gosh so there we go uh, thanks for watching um, can't really see Stargazer in the daytime but um, I think we're gonna I'll, I'll quickly head back to the night time so we can see the uh, the night again that's this video thanks for watching and um, in the next load of videos um, you will see Texas mega scenery we're actually going to go there and do a first look at the scenery from request by um, a viewer and coming soon actual proper reviews of products you know uh, the good and the bad so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later guys